Hey, Internet world, it's Jason Collins with ManufacturedHomes.com. We find ourselves chasing homes today in Brooklyn, Arkansas, right outside of Jonesboro. We're at the Affordable Home Center here, guys, and we're about to take a look at a super gorgeous floor plan by Champion Homes out of Dresden, Tennessee. Behind you that you can't see is the Paris, and right out here what you can see is me burning up because it is an absolute scorcher today in north central Arkansas. Staying hydrated is super important. I'm going to spin around and give you guys a little quick peek at this one. I actually believe this is the back side of the Paris. So we're going to punch around to the front, jump inside and take a look. You guys stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the Paris by Champion Home Builders. This is actually the front. I really like the contrast of the brown, the black, the white, and then the green. I think that really does a good job of making this one stand out. I love the white vinyl clad aluminum windows with the black shutters. Look at this deal. Man, let's go inside and take a look and see what the inside of this one has to offer. I think it's kind of neat that Affordable Home Centers has actually positioned this one so that you're coming in from the back. You don't see that very often, but you know, with this Paris floor plan, one of the more interesting features is this little built-in back porch that's right in the middle here of the home. So if you like entertaining, if you like just sitting outside, kind of soaking in the environment, this is a great place to do that. Then we can swing right inside here and take a look at this super nice home. I got my water jug with me because it's a scorcher today. We're going to show you guys everything we can on this one. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,941 square feet. This is the Paris part of Champions Ascend line. Okay, this is 64 feet long, 30 feet and a pinch wide. Look at that. Super nice. Take a look at this, would you? Take a look at this. So many things here that I want to talk about. This home has probably got more sort of interesting details than a lot that we see. I'm going to pan up really quickly, or tilt up, I guess is the proper term for that. But I want you to look at these faux beams, okay? Lighter colored wood to offset the white shiplap and black shelving. I like that. I really like, you know, we're seeing this more and more in different houses and that's the sort of rustic I don't know sort of steampunk if you will or whatever um, more industrial hardware that actually matches the hardware on the double sliding barn doors that give you access to this area this could be an office this could be a reading nook it could be a crafting area um, super nice Hangout area for the kids. Slap a big TV on the wall and plug an Xbox in and you're good to go right here off of the main living area. I really like that. I also like this pass-through right here. Okay, pass-through to the kitchen, which I think is neat. And then I also want to point out, we've got another sliding door right here that reveals a pantry area. I love the sliding doors. I like them for a number of reasons. Number one, they're aesthetically pleasing. And number two, you're not compromising floor space for 
the ability to have a door. So I'm going I'm to explain what that means, right? So if this door swung out, you wouldn't be able to have that chair there because the door would bump into the chair. But because it is a sliding door, you don't have that problem because you're not using up this floor space down here. Again, super nice. I'm gigantic. Gigantic. I guess this is not really an island because it's connected to the wall. But crazy amount of counter space and cabinet space. Now I want you to look here. This is, let me point this out. You remember when we were well, when we were over here and we were talking about these faux beams, right? And the contrast of the light wood and the dark cabinet, the dark shelving rather. Why don't you look over here what they've done? They brought that into the kitchen area. So you've got the light cabinets up here and you've got the dark cabinets down there. And then you've got this sort of green subway tile, which is cool. I like that. I don't see that very often. Nice glass and stainless commercial style range hood right around here. Look at this. Look at this stainless steel apron sink. Look at this deal. You have got, look at this, you've got places where you can wash vegetables, you've got multiple levels of, of, I don't know if shelving is the right word for a sink or whatever, but racks, I guess. And then one of my favorite things, the old detachable gooseneck. Oh, look at this, look, look at this. This is neat, I like this. You've got the, you've got the cutting board that you can put right there and you can cut and then you can put your vegetables in there and you can wash them. That is pretty cool. Um, marble laminate countertops, super neat drawer over door cabinetry. Jason, what does drawer over door cabinetry mean and why would I care? Well, it means that everywhere you have a base cabinet door, you have a drawer over that door and it just gives you an additional amount of storage space. Can you ever have too many drawers in your kitchen? I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's peek right in here. I bet this is going to be the master. We usually save this for last, but that's okay. We can take a look at the master right now. All right, no rules. We can do what we want. Okay, another gorgeous soaker tub. They're bringing that, that aesthetic of the barn door right back here into the bathroom area, look at that gorgeous shower. Black hardware matches the hardware throughout the house. Nice rain head, shower head right there. And then tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. I love it, I love it. That is a gorgeous shower. We have got a walk-in closet back here that is very incredible. Your water heater is going to be behind this panel right here. So if you're wondering what that is, that just takes that off and gives you access to the water heater should you need to replace or repair that. Again, we've got a window in the closet, which I think is great because it gives you better natural light. Built-in shelving, clothes rods, his and hers sinks right there. And then right over here, we're going to have the business center right in there. All right, that's, that's where the bathroom business happens. Just like that. Awesome. Look at that. That same light colored cabinetry that we saw in the kitchen and in the faux beams in the living room has been brought right back here into the bathroom. We've got recessed LED lighting in the ceiling right up there and then we've also got lights over both of the vanity mirrors which my wife when we go to airbnb or hotels or whatever she has to check and make sure that they have a light over the mirror you'd be surprised how many places don't have a light over the mirror which i thought was kind of odd but she checks on that that's an important thing so if that's important to your wife you can tell her, hey, the Paris has got it going on. You know, I love it when I find this, and we talk about this from time to time. This is a whole house water shutoff. And what that means is this. If you have a problem, if you have a pipe that bursts, or you have, you know, some need to turn off the water, you don't have to fumble around in the dark and in the mud in the middle of the night or cold weather or whatever 
you just come right in here and you flip this off and it shuts off the water to the entire house. And then you flip that back on and the water is back on. So obviously that's where your washer and your dryer would go. We've got linen storage right over here. We're going to find those same pretty much standard three quarter inch hidden European hinges. Your, your electrical service is going to be in here. 200 amp. What does 200 amp mean, Jason? Well, that just means that you're going to be able to run all of your high current drain appliances and stuff without worrying about popping breakers or blowing fuses because there are no fuses. They're all breakers. This is where your HVAC system goes. Your fresh air return is right there. And that takes care of this end of the house. Let's go back in this area and see. New vinyl flooring always squeaks. I don't know how much of that you guys can hear, but when I walk, it's a super squeaky thing. If that is bothering you, I apologize. Not a lot I can do about that. Again, we've seen this time and time again. A little bit of construction material in this bedroom, and that's not a big deal. Um, they'll get all that sorted out and cleaned up when this home is delivered to you. Super spacious closet in the number two bedroom. Guest bath. And then the number three bedroom. And the number three bedroom has got some super nice carpet in it. Gorgeous closet. Alrighty. Hey guys, we love bringing you this content and we are so happy that you choose to watch our videos. We love that. But what I need for you to do is help me help you. And you can do that by subscribing. YouTube channels live and die by the subscriber. So when you do that, it really helps us out. As long as you're there, ring that notification bell. That lets you know when we post new content. And hey, we're doing that practically every day, sometimes more than once a day. So be sure you do that. Give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like what you're seeing and they'll bring you more of the same. And then do me a favor, drop a comment below. Let me know what you like. You know, do you like doubles? Do you like triples? Those little tiny park models? You tell me what you like and I will do my best to chase it down. But right now, let's take a look at a couple more things here. We're going to go outside and take a look at what this one has to offer from the outside. Once again, guys, we are at Affordable Home Centers in Brooklyn, Arkansas. We're taking a look at the Paris. That is by Champion Home Builders out of their Dresden, Tennessee factory. If you're interested in finding out more information about this home or any of the homes that you see on this channel, you can do so by visiting us at manufacturedhomes.com. We're happy to put you in contact with anybody that you need. We can even help hook you up with an appointment to come and see this one. My name is Jason Collins. You are watching Chasing Homes. And I'll see you next time.